It's extremely emotional. It's really blowing my mind. <laughs> Flight has officially taken off without us. Very much not trusting anyone or anything right now. Look at how ridiculous this is. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I am currently in the UK on a fairly sunny morning. Um, I've had a shower, so excuse the wet hair. And I'm leaving for Australia in about 24 hours and until half an hour ago I hadn't even started packing. So everything's a bit of a mess right now, um, if I just show you actually. So yeah, this is literally half an hour worth of packing and you can see my two suitcases are almost full, just stuff everywhere. And this is literally not even, I don't think, 10% of what I think I need to move to the other side of the planet. I'm just feeling very overwhelmed and excited and also very sad because of everything I'm leaving behind here as excited as I am for the adventure and the experience. So yeah, I'm a bit all over the place right now but I wanted to capture the start of this journey and hopefully take you along with me along everything that's to come. So it's 1am, I think, yep, and I've done everything today but pack, so gone for dinner, um, went to the temple, you know, for blessings and whatnot, but I haven't packed. <laughs> Let's have a update of the situation, shall we? So this is my bed, completely full of stuff. Everything is just everywhere. These suitcases are both completely brimming, but I'm literally nowhere near done. I mean, we're just we're preparing for so many weathers, so many activities. So I've got my, all my skiing stuff, all my hiking stuff, all my general, you know, work clothes for work, and then day-to-day -day clothes, going out clothes. It's like obviously we're just doing my life like that. It's not like a holiday where you're going for certain activities or certain weather. It's just like copying and pasting my whole life there. <sighs> Sorry, I know this is literally just the concept of moving country, but it's really blowing my mind. <laughs> I'm just so tired <laughs> and overwhelmed and yeah. Oh. Many unbearable hours later. So we're at the airport and our gate is showing, but we're eating scrambled eggs first. Well, vegan scrambled eggs. What is it made of? Tofu? Oh uh, yeah, tofu. Mm -hmm. to Abu Dhabi <laughs> but we're stuck here now because the Australian government won't let us in and we don't no, know no, when the next flight is. The Australian government won't let us in because the Australian government set rules that Effa had and just ignored, <laughs> not thought of, just been utterly crap. Okay yeah basically we're not on good terms with Etihad right now and we're just awaiting our fate to see if and when we can get to Australia, but it's not going to be tonight. Our flight has officially taken off without us. So I guess we're going to spend the night in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> All right. Hello. So we are still in Abu Dhabi, I'm and huh? I'm going to be rustling. That's okay. <laughs> so we are still in Abu Dhabi, but we are in a hotel now at the airport. They've booked us onto tomorrow's flight which was a bit of an ordeal in itself because the numbers that can go to Australia are so low every day and tomorrow it's even lower than today but fingers crossed we can get on that flight and um, get to Australia eventually they've given us some food vouchers so we're just having some pizza there wasn't anything vegan obviously but sometimes that's just the way it is uh, it's like 3am now here 
so we're just going to eat and head to bed and hope for the best for tomorrow's flight. Good morning, well, good afternoon actually. Um, it is lunchtime here in Abu Dhabi where we still are because we're still stuck and waiting for our flight. So we woke up this morning and we were told to go and organise another Covid test because of this delay, the Covid test we got done in London won't be valid by the time we actually reach Australia now. So we need a repeat PCR, which apparently we were told this morning someone is coming to the hotel room to do in the next couple of hours. So I hope that happens. Um, very much not trusting anyone or anything right now. I don't think I really mentioned this yesterday, but when we were trying to get on another flight to Australia, everyone was just telling us different things like, yes, you can go on this flight, or sorry, no, you can't, or your seat's guaranteed, or no, it's not guaranteed anymore. So I'm just not really trusting anyone until we are firmly on that plane. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Um, hopefully everything will be fine. So yeah, we, we wandered around the airport this morning. We found out about the COVID tests. We got some breakfast with our breakfast vouchers. I guess we'll stay here until the swab is done. Just doing a little bit of work in bed now, seeing as we've got this time. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we get to Australia tonight. We're still not on our flight to Australia because it's delayed by two hours. <laughs> so we got a call earlier today to say our flight was delayed. So instead of half past midnight, it's at half past two in the morning. So... I blame the lot of Washington because that's where the flight's coming from. We blame the lot of Washington because that's where the flight's coming from. A few moments later. Yay! We made it on the flight, but look at how ridiculous this is. I kid you not, we're on a proper, like, big aeroplane. I'm not very good with aeroplanes. I think this is not the Airbus, but something big. Um, and there's four people in economy and two people in business. And obviously I've already asked if we can just move forward and sit in business class because when will we get this opportunity again? And I'm told the Australian government will not allow it. I, I don't know what that means and why they care who's sitting in business. Um, but yeah, I'm not complaining because this will be my whole bed for tonight. And um, Big Mitch is sitting on the front row of the economy where you get all the leg room. So, I guess it's as good as it's going to get. to Melbourne finally and gone through a very um, rigorous process to get out the airport and into Australia. There were literally people monitoring every step um, of the way to make sure that we weren't veering away from what they wanted us to do. But after multiple health checks and lots of sanitization, we finally made it to the hotel room. Um, they put us all in a bus with the people on our flight and they've sent us all to our rooms now and it's actually not that bad. So here's Vic, just unpacking, making himself at home. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Here's a nice wardrobe, which we'll unpack into, I guess. Yeah, we've got a good sofa and a little chair there and a really big desk, which is good because we've got lots of working bits and we'll be running some of our online courses from here too as well, which is nice. And lots of window, which is nice because I hope it will let a lot of light in in the morning. But it's a bit unclear what's out here right now, so I guess we'll see tomorrow. But we can't open the windows, which is a bit sad um, in terms of fresh air. But they've given us this air purifier, 
so we'll try and tackle that tomorrow as well. They've also given us a very thorough welcome pack over here, which is actually really cute. They've got all the meals and... It's that drawer. Oh, sorry, it's in that drawer, okay. <laughs> so they've given us a very cute welcome pack, which is got all our like meal options, things that we can um, order if we want to pay extra. So they're going to send us three meals and snacks throughout the day. Um, and they're going to leave them outside the door and then we have to pick them up. We're not allowed to open the door otherwise for any other reason. But yeah, here's a welcome pack. There's like loads of information about how meal times, laundry, etc. works. I have to say, even though it's been um, a bit of a pain to get here, they are sort of controlling the virus in the way you should, seeing as the population's not been vaccinated or anything yet. So yeah, can't really complain. And that's basically, I think, brings us to the end of this vlog of getting to Australia been a few hiccups along the way but we made it we're in one piece and i think we'll be fine but let's see how it goes make sure to subscribe if you want to follow this journey further and i'll keep documenting bits and bobs of what we get up to here and then of course when we finally get to brisbane and start working there as well so thank you so much for watching and see you next time